to be honest with you, um, um, we still got lots of work to do. The good thing about it is we did win the game, but the bad thing about it was that, is that we left so many points out there. That game should have been over the half, and we should have been, you know, kind of playing one of those halves where you just kind of get the game over with, you know, but at the same time, you know, because we didn't necessarily, and then we come back and turn the football over in the second half, which is always a little bit of a deal. Um, we ended up fighting to the very end, but um, the one thing that we talked about a good bit preceding the game was that we would uh, definitely have some adversity, and the way we reacted to it was going to possibly or probably be the uh, deciding factor in the outcome of the game. And uh, you know, giving up the uh, turnover and then giving up the deep ball right behind it, you know, put the that put us almost right back in the same order where we were last year, on almost the exact same play. So for us to come back and uh, and to hold them off and then finally get a score and get a special team play and that kind of stuff uh, was really really big in the end. So um, it was a, a a good game for us and a and a quality win for us that way too. So um, we're excited about now going on to the conference. Questions? You mentioned a rally. Or why is the uh, main quarterback of the starting quarterback now? Is he the element now to keep things going? Well, let's hope so. Uh, one of the things we like to try to do is play to the strength of the ability of that position. Uh, the quarterback position is probably the most important position on the play, on, on the field. And, uh, you know, he seems to give us something that gives us a chance to uh, be able to consistently keep people off guard that way. Um, He's not necessarily a one-dimensional guy, you know, which makes us have to discipline it all the time, but he's a multi-dimensional guy. We, he gives us a chance to run it in different places and to be able to mix it up with some throw kind of stuff too. So um, I think that's probably the case now. We really don't have, we still don't have full uh, clearance on uh, L.A. anyway. And part of what we've got to do is see if we can get him back healthy. And then once we get him back healthy and see how he does in this style of what we got to get done. But he's got to buy in to really do a good job on the rezone action and some other kind of stuff that Wilder really sold this past week that gave us an opportunity to be successful. What made him lag as being a year and not started? Say it again? What made him lag as being a year and not started? You know what? Uh, we just couldn't seem to quite find the formula to get him going and uh, you know, I think it was one of those kind of deals where, you know, we he actually got the job by happenstance. It wasn't necessarily the fact that we felt like he was, you know, any different than what he was previously. We just thought that we, because L.A. was hurt, get him in there and try to mold the, the offense around him. And, you know, at that point, you know, he's, he's begun to take off, take off. So maybe, you know, if it had happened sooner, we'd have been better off. But at the same time, um, you know, it is what it is that way. I concern you for Brandon King in terms of his confidence. What's happening in the last two weeks? Uh, I'm concerned, but at the same time, you know, Brandon's a pretty tough guy. He's an older guy. He, you know, he'll be all right. The big thing for us is to keep going to him and to give him opportunities that way. And uh, we think he'll protect the football. In the second half, it seemed like the offensive line really sort of took a step back once Furman started getting the best performance. Is there a concern whether this offensive line can sustain that toughness through the four quarters? You know, I, you know, I didn't think it was necessarily the fact that we uh, took a step back as far as it was. Uh, I think we had some, some, some different looks and some, and some ill-advised kind of uh, attempts under those circumstances. Uh, some of the protections that we used, you know, in third down were, were more designed for when people thought you might possibly run the football too. So. Uh, some of the things that you see, you know, was sometimes back predicated and sometimes tight end and, and, uh, and wide receiver predicated on why we didn't gain yards that way. So uh, the offensive line didn't play as well in the first half as it did in the, in the second. It didn't play as well in the second half as it did in the first. But at the same time, a lot of it had to do with what Furman did to us and the fact that we didn't make that just quite as well as we should have. Are you better defensive than you projected at the beginning of the year? Say it again? Are you better defensive than you projected at the beginning of the year? No, uh, but we're probably better, in the, better on defense now than we deserve to be under the circumstances. Um, we've got a lot of new faces. The entire secondary is new. You know, we 
got guys, you know, in the linebacker court in the middle. But, you know, we got some players there. Uh, Javon Hargraves has really come on to be special. Um, some of the uh, Carters and and uh, and guys that Reggie Owens, you know, have come on and Greg Newell. So we've got some new guys that that are, that are starting to show up on the scene. That secondary, um, um, Henry and 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 Pauling and and uh, um, um, oh gosh, what's the little corner kid name out there from Columbia? Marquise Jones. Um, um, Antonio Hamilton, you know, all those names, you know, Mario Cooper, you know, all those guys are, are getting to be really, real good football players. And, you know, it's exciting to, uh, you know, to see that defense develop the way it does. And, you know, it's, it's deep, um, you know, the fact that we've got, uh, you know, guys that can, can move in and out of there. We're playing Carlos Merritt a good bit, you know, at, at the nickel corner, some of that kind of stuff, you know, we're playing. Um, uh, we probably will try to figure out how to get maybe either Chestnut or, or Devondre Powell involved some here in the next couple of days. So, you know, we got enough depth there that, you know, that we seem to be coming along in a way that would give us a chance to really be a good, strong, deep, and it's a smart group of people too. You got and people like Antonio Hamilton, if I look back through that secondary, almost all these guys, you know, are 3.0 students or better. And so you get a little bit of a sensation of the fact that how smart they are back there. And then the problem, the person who's been had the biggest impact in our overall defense, new impact, uh, is probably Darius Lemon. And, uh, you know, Darius is lying back from over Lake View, South Carolina. And uh, Darius probably had about his final game this past Saturday as anybody's had in a while, in a while. You know, he had sacks, he had tackles for losses, he had tackles. You know, he had uh, formal recoveries, you know, he caused formals. He had all kinds of stuff, you know, as far as playmaking ability is concerned. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing his, his development, you know, in the coming weeks and the rest of the season because he really is a special young man. And, you know, he can really do some things to give us a chance to make some plays that way. So we got some playmakers back there. We got some smart guys. Paulin, you know, Chris Paulin is probably uh, as heady a safety. He's very similar mm -hmm. to Camario last year. He's taking on that role back there. So, so, you know, you get a good, solid group of guys that seem to be working together and gelling together to become a good defense that way. And, you know, I got to you know, give Coach Resty Bowl and that crowd with some credit. The fact that, you know, they've done a nice job of of trying to put some guys in the right place and get them coached up. What about Pollen's play on Saturday night? Seems like he got some routine. Oh, he made two great. He made. He, made, he had the interception. Coast on now. You know we're gonna have to go, do a drill to teach him what to do after the interception ball. Like run toward the other guy. Run toward you, the other team's goal line. But uh, you know, at some, I think he got confused. It's, it's exactly where to go. He said, "Shoot, let me get down." But uh, and on the fourth down play. You know, he does, I, I hear Coach talk all the time about play the sticks, play the sticks, you know, that kind of stuff. And he was perfect in that regard because, you know, he sat right on the point where the guy was going to, to hook. I think they ran a little stick route of some sort that, you know, they were going to pop it in there and just kind of give him a chance to make a first down. And he was right there, John was spotting out that ball out. So he made some plays and he continues to make plays. And he's a physical guy too, so he's a, he's a smart guy, you know, who understands what he's trying to defend and that kind of stuff. And, you know, it would be fun to see how these guys play as the as the season progresses because they still kind of learn, you know, each other. And the fact that you know we are so young, um, the, the only other person I, I did talk about was Justin Hughes, and Brock both plays good too. And Justin is really kind of finding his own way. Now, this 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 defense has seemed to be a little bit better fit for him because at the end of the year last year, you know, he had got to the point where he was kind of just playing a backup role. And, you know, he's really playing good now for us and did a nice job of. Of, of tackling guys before they got the first time. We couldn't get him to wrap up anybody. He just wanted to try to run and knock guys down. He's now actually running and wrapping guys up and getting them down on the ground that way, short of the first down, which is, you know, which has really been fun to watch. So uh, that defense has played very well. And, and uh, you know, let's hope they continue to develop in a way where, you know, by the end of the year, they'll be one of the better defenses we've had here. What is Justin's, uh, what has made him a different ball player this year? Who's that? Justin Hughes. Well, I think it's it's got a lot to do with the style of play that we've developed here. 
you know, with this new defensive approach that we have. And, uh, you know, the fact that he's grown up a little bit, I think, he's, I think he, he, he does not want to go through what he went through last year when he was relegated to a backup role. And uh, there's competition there. Those guys that are in that group, Deshaun Taylor, you know, heck, we could maybe even move some of those other guys around from the other side or whatever, make it all come together. But, you know, there are some people out there that have, that have shown themselves to be, you know, able to do what he does inside. So he needs to kind of keep it going because if not, then, you know, we're not above moving people around to make, uh, you know, to play better as a team. How quickly do you expect Javarius leaving that ball back in? Uh, today, <laughs> uh, t Tuesday, but uh, we practice again. You know, we're going to stick him in there and see what happens. Uh, he's been practicing all the time, so, that, you know, it's not like, you know, he's got any real rust to deal with that way. He was with the team all last year, all spring. So let's hope that he's ready to go in a way where we can. The key for us at this point is to figure out exactly where to place everybody uh, with the uh, uh, with the addition of Neiman being back. Uh, we don't necessarily need to have Eric out there now because Eric was one of our better offensive linemen. We need to try to make sure that we find a way to keep him on the field somewhere. So if we put Eric at the left tackle, then that means we still got CJ and, and some of those other guys. that Because what you need is a guy to spell those guys. You can kind of take CJ and kind of use him to back up both those guys to a certain degree. You know, in our guards, you know, we got pretty good personnel. That, that fix that center. You know, we may try to move him around the guard somewhere. Heck, I don't know. We're still working to try to figure out exactly where to put all these guys. But it's a great problem to have now. You know, this is a very unusual circumstance uh, to have as far as offensive linemen are concerned because we got uh, more than we can keep on the field that we think are able to play them at one time, and that's really special. We did have one injury that I wasn't quite as aware of. Uh, Charles Henderson looks like he may even be out this week because he – he got his ankle hurt on the uh, last PAT. But uh, besides that, you know, we pretty much business as usual with those guys, except for the fact that we got to figure exactly where to put them all. Well, what do you make of Hampton from what you've seen out of the Hampton, you know what? Hampton's had such a tough schedule. You know, they opened with Old Dominion, and then they had, uh, you know, they had Weaver Mary, you know, they had Richmond. You know, those, those three teams are all top. Well, Old Dominion, if you saw yesterday, they beat Rice at Rice in their first Conference USA game. Uh, this year, and then both uh, Weaver and Mayor and Richmond are, t are, are top 20 ranked teams and right there where Franklin was this past week. So they have more schedule than they can handle, you know, early in the year. And then they've got a new staff, Coach Carnell Maynard and his group, you know, have moved up from Winston-Salem, and those guys are still trying to find their way to a certain degree. But at the same time, this guy is one of the hot young coaches in the business today, and, you know, he has really done fabulous things with his teams over time. and. You know, I'm sure they're trying to figure out, you know, exactly where they are and how to get some things done at this point. But, you know, they are, a, they, you know, they are a work in progress. They had a tough game against Miles this past Saturday. Uh, Miles had them down some. You know, they showed that, you know, the, the, the will to continue to stay in the game. Eventually, they got ahead and won the football game. Uh, they do have uh, uh, some ability uh, in the skill level uh, at the quarterback, one that position. Their quarterback is a He's a good player. They got this running back. I'm trying to think what his name is. He's number two. Who's really a good player? Hardy. Hardy. Is that what his name is? No, Washington. Washington. Is that Washington? Jerry Washington. Yeah. Washington. Yeah, yeah. Um, the running back number two is uh, is Jerron Ajarian. Jorian. How do you pronounce that? Jorian. Washington. But I can tell you what, he's a player. He's, he's one of the little Jim Bug guys, too. So you got to keep your eye on him. And, and, you know, they, they, they run the ball good, you know, they're, they're hard nose down here, run the ball team, they're multiple in their approach to that on offense. Uh, got a great screen game, he seems to really have a, a good feel for, you know, screens and draws and that kind of stuff. So, you know, we got to build our P's and Q's to not allow them to take advantage of some of our over aggressive that way. And then, you know, their defense is a classic Jolie Dunn style, kind of 3-3-5 kind of look. You see some you know, some full hands, thoughts, and that kind of stuff, with a lot of blitzing, and, you know, they come from everywhere, you know, when you start talking about, you know, how you go about attacking people. So, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how Hampton goes, and, I mean, how, you know, what they try to do against them, because I'm sure they held some things, you know, that they hadn't done, uh, because they knew they had their first conference game coming up this week, and, you know, it'll be interesting to see how they go about that kind of uh, approach to their preparation. And then last but not least, their special teams are good. So uh, it'll be a tough game for us. And 
you know, you, you can't take very much out of the fact that they lost three games because the three teams they lost to are all above and beyond all of us. And, uh, you know, they just have more schedule than they can handle. You could not have made a positive change at any better time of the year. Say it again? You could not have made a positive change at any better time of the year. Well, let me tell you what. Now, what we did Saturday was, you know, was you know almost like a gift from above. Um, we had to have some kind of name win, and, and the only way we could get it was to have some kind of special change, you know, our overall approach, and, you know, the uh, uh, Wilder thing made a big difference for us on Saturday. And, uh, but our defense, and you could see our defense was beginning to come along at Coastal Carolina in the second half, so you knew that that was a possibility. I didn't know they played as well as they did, but I thought they played good. And then the fact that, you know, that we got our offense going away, and lots of times offense is, you don't necessarily, for a defense to, to play well, have to score a lot of points. You know, if you can get them to just not go three and out, you know, just go out there and drive the football out of the field and give them a chance to kind of get on the sideline and regroup and get back out there again, then that can help a, lot, that can help a defense as much as anything. It's a team approach to winning football games that way. And, uh, you know, that was the big deal that we did on Saturday. We kept their defense on the field, and our defense was able to get off the field. I think we only had one three and out for the entire football game. And with that being the case, then, uh, you know, that was a big part of why we were able to play as well, as well as do, as on defense as we did. Can you talk about the 